Everyone's like, what happened to her? Did she, like, disappear forever? <laughs> no. I didn't disappear forever. I just disappeared for other reasons. <laughs> um, I wanted to go live here. I don't know why. It just seems a little bit easier. Um, at night, often, I'm sure everyone sees that I like to go on <laughs> Instagram at, like, this time. And I start posting and reposting on the Keep It Regal Boutique. So this is like the Keep It Regal Boutique Hour. Um, hi, everybody. I um, I wanted to address something because I've been talking to Julie about it. And she's like, you need to get those videos done for CCXP. I'm like, I know, I know. So I'm I'm calling, to, I'm calling. <laughs> I'm apologizing to all of you for my very long delay. I am, um, without getting too personal, it's just been a really hectic few months for me. A lot of stuff happening. And it's been difficult to um, to just do anything outside of work and, and some family stuff that's been going on. So to all of you who are waiting for these videos, I want to let you know that I have not forgotten I'm getting through them. <laughs> They're all here. And I got through, I got through the first page. So um, I'm doing more tomorrow. And then I think I'm gonna try to finish them all tomorrow. So then all of you guys can get your videos. Gals, guys, gals, all you people, all you awesome regals. Um, Yes, and my gosh, I, I'm just, I owe you all the biggest apology for taking so long. Um, things are very good. I'm just a little tired. Working during COVID is crazy. Um, it's a little hectic, but we're doing it. And um, <laughs> someone's like, stop, because it's 1 a.m., and you're not even tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. I think I'm going to go to bed soon. But I just, I had to say something. And Julie said, I can say something. I said, no, I have to say something. So I'm sure everyone that uh, from CCXP and all these um, messages, um, I hope all of you are watching this and just know that... Um, I've not forgotten. I just, like I said, I've been juggling a lot and it's been a, a very challenging three months to say the least. Um, but I want to thank you and I, I miss all of you. I miss traveling. I miss being able to see the world and meet people from where I'm visiting and I just miss it. So I miss all of you. Um, let's see. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if I'm going to join anybody because I have no energy. And I have to get up super early. Um, but let's see if I can read some things here. Girl, make yourself your priority. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I, I miss seeing you all too. Um, I'm seeing if there's any questions here. I know I love being like impromptu. I'm just gonna get on and surprise everybody. Everyone's like, "What? No warning?" And then people get mad that I didn't warn. It's okay. <laughs> I like the surprise. Sometimes it's fun. Hola, Mexico. What am I wearing? Am I wearing red? I'm always wearing red. I'm always wearing red now. These are mine. These are mine. Look, I grew them out. <laughs> They're long, long claws. Um. I probably sound tired. Someone just said something about my voice or they're just like, your voice. <laughs> um, anyhow, oh, 
all of you, I mean, this is me literally having a moment with all of you, missing all of you so much. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, I love you all so much. And um, we are working on a new Keep It Regal collection. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of you that are supporting this boutique because man, it is, I just love it so much. I love it so much. It's crazy. And I just love what it represents. And I love when I see these photos of all of you and like your cute TikToks and your cute videos and your funny impersonations and like, and your splits and your cartwheels and your, and you're kissing each other and like holding each other and like split frames where it's like one person's on one side, the other person's on the other side, but you're wearing the same thing or you're doing the same thing. I mean, I'm just like, what? I am the luckiest person ever. I just, I love you so much. I can't tell you how happy it makes me. I'm so grateful. Um, Happy birthday, Regina Parilla23. Even though it was a few days ago, I got that one. <laughs> Yay. How do I feel about my long hair? I mean, I like it. I mean, I like it. It's really long, <laughs> but I like it. I feel good about it. It feels like... I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep growing it, like really long. What excites you about your new collection? Mm, I, the, some of the colors and the graphics and the messages and the styles, all the above. Um, love, love from Australia, love to Australia. Um, how am I dealing with big nails? It took like two months. And, and I, there's a funny video <laughs> to post it. Because Antoinette, my girlfriend Antoinette, has nails all the time. And so I, did, I, was, I was parking the car at a meter. And I had to run into a framing store. And I went to put the credit card into the parking meter. So I didn't have any coins. And I went to pull the card out and I couldn't grab the card. <laughs> it was like, it was comical. I mean, it was like a, a funny Peter Sellers moment where it was like, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this? What's wrong with this? I'm wrong with it. I'm wrong with it. I can't do anything. And someone had to help me. <laughs> this guy walked by, he's like, uh, do you need help? I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> and he pulled the credit card out for me. I was like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> it was funny. It was it was one of those moments. You had to be there. You had to be there. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's so me. So me. You're right. Um, oh man, I've missed you all too. It really was funny. It it really was. <laughs> Maybe I'll post it one day. Um, but now I love them. Now it's like I love them, and they're strong. And I have like this 1940 you know, manicure, which is like this half moon. And it's so cool. At first I was like, oh, it's so fancy. It's not gonna go with anything I have. <laughs> because women just don't dress like that anymore. But um, yeah, it goes with enough. You just gotta go plain with everything, see? And then it goes with everything, or just wear black. <laughs> anything goes with black. Um, someone's like, oh my God, that happened to me yesterday with the nails. That's so funny. What's an ASMR video? I don't know what that is. See what's happening. I've already been off social media and I've already missed all this other stuff. I don't know what's going on. Chicken or turkey? Turkey. <laughs> Even though that sounds weird. I think only because chickens in this country, God knows what they're really chickens. And if I do eat chicken, it has to be organic. I will not eat chicken in this country. If it's not organic, I will not order chicken on a menu unless it's organic. I feel like there are less turkeys being produced. <laughs> so I feel like I can find like safer turkeys in the world 
than chickens. If that makes any sense. I'm so thirsty. Hold on. Um, passion fruit. Passion fruit. Um, what else? It's like past my bedtime. I'm like going to bed early these days. Favorite and color from new collection. I'm not telling you. You have to see. You have to wait and see. Trying to get some sneaky things out of me. I see. I know your games. Mm -hmm. mm. How is Lola? Lola hates the camera, everybody. Hates it. It's nothing to do with that. No. Lola. Oh, no, me. You hate the camera. You hate it. Why? I think she hates it because she feels like it pulls me away from her. I mean, I think she's right. Because it distracts everybody from being in the present moment. These things, these phones, everything. <laughs> so anytime she sees it, she's like anti-phone, anti-camera, wants nothing to do with it. She just wants real connection. Like, she hates it. <laughs> so they look at her. Isn't she cutie? Hmm. No, me. Go say hi to the world. Say hi to the world, Lola. She said hi. She, like, she stuck her tongue out to her. <laughs> that means hi in Lola language. Whoa. What was that, Lil? It was a big sneeze. Anyway, um, it is 1020. <laughs> and virtual Lola cuddles. Bless you. Two big sneezes. And whew, one big. <laughs> Lola. Do you have to go to the bathroom? I don't know. I'm embarrassing her now. No, me. Say hi to the world. Say hi, world. Oh, little scone. What's going on? What is it, little girl? Everybody wants to see you and you're hiding. Look. There she is. Oh. Okay, Lola. Why are you so shy? Oh. <laughs> Like, mommy, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, you can go to sleep. <laughs> um, okay, it's three in the morning in Brazil. Oh my God, Trish is doing great. Thank you for asking. Trish is great. How's the experience filming in the crazy pandemic? It's cr exactly that, crazy. But, you know... Even with all the challenges, we're still making a great TV show. So, I mean, oh, I know, Lola. Okay, you go to sleep. I'll come up. Oh, she's so like to die. That's the fourth yawn. Um, it's kind of crazy, but then also really, like, I'm just so grateful to be, you know, to be working during such a crazy time in the world. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm willing to sort of like hang in there and, and deal with the challenges as they come. And, um, and we're all doing that and we're pushing through. So it's pretty great. Okay. That's the longest answer. This, this is like a sleepy Lana head. Everything's moving slowly. <laughs> okay, I wanted to print out your... Oh, it's private. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm lagging, guys. I got stuck on one question. Okay. <laughs> mm. Who eats a car? What do I think about Why Women Kill Season 1? I loved it. 
I binge watched the whole thing because I knew that once I was going to be on here, I was like, okay, I need to watch that. I mean, Ginny, I wanted to see it for Ginny anyway, but um, it was really fun because I sat and watched it with um, two good friends of mine and we watched like all 10 episodes in one day <laughs> and I loved it. I thought it was so like clever and wonderful and I loved like the three different timelines. Um, I thought Ginny did a great job. I really, really enjoyed, hold on, my battery's saying. I really enjoyed, um, let's do that. Um, Lucy Liu's storyline as well. And um, I just thought that the characters were really compelling. So I, I, I enjoyed it. And and this season, it's, you know, one era. So it's not split up bet between like three different eras. Like we're all, it's just 1949. Um, but uh, it's awesome. I love it. And a new production draft just came out. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, I've been kind of staying off social media, not because I don't want to be around any of you guys. I love you all. <laughs> I think it's just like for my brain, I need to take a moment and like step away sometimes. I think it's healthy for all of us. Ah, what am I doing for my birthday? I don't know. <laughs> Do people think about their birthdays? <laughs> like, I feel like no one can celebrate their birthdays anymore. It's like, oh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday. I haven't planned it yet. It's so far from now. Uh, do I intend to participate in Star Wars? Did I miss something? Was I invited? Um, if I'm invited, I would meet. Really? What did they change? Hairs? Color? I mean, I'm growing them out. Is that what's changed? I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, can you tell more about Rita? She's a lot fancier than I am. <laughs> um, I don't watch WandaVision. Is Rita going to kill someone on the show? <laughs> mm. Did you ever use a character's zodiac sign to help you make decisions? Wait a second. Mm. I don't know if that's... Wait, I understand that differently. The way I understand that is, have I ever used a character's zodiac sign to develop the character? Like as a choice? Like this birthday, this person's birthday? I, I think Rita's a Scorpio. <laughs> Cause she's a little, oh, a little stinger. Scorpios like to, and there's that story about the Scorpio, scorpion and the frog, right? Look it up if you don't know about it. Scorpion, little stingers, all you little Scorpios out there. Probably the name is, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scorpios are the win. <laughs> People have a petition going for, oh, really? Yeah, I heard about that, the Mandalorian. I've never seen it. I don't know. I don't think I can, I don't know. It's, I've never seen it. But it looks like she was pretty, like, strong and kicking everyone's ass. Um, that's, I just saw a clip when it was on the news. I don't, I've never seen it. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> what other shows do I enjoy watching? You know, I needed like a really feel good, like uplifting show that, that like just wasn't full of like crazy darkness, drama, twist, turns, betrayal, blah, 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 deceit. I just needed, well, some deceit, I guess. Um, but I, I just started this, so I don't know where it's going, but I just started watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. This friend of mine said, you know what, you should just watch it. I said, you know, I tried once before and I wasn't feeling it, but then I I tried it again the other day and I was like three episodes in, I was like, oh my God, I'm totally addicted. 
I don't know. I guess you have to be in the mood. And I'm um, currently in the mood. And it's also probably because I'm in the 40s every day. Um, so it, it, it feels like, I think it takes place in the 50s. But um, I don't know. It's just something and sort of feel good about it. All right, go to school. Bye. We're birthday twins. Matthew. I love that. Um, where can you watch what? Mm, okay. Am I boring everybody? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm not giving you guys enough information, but I don't really know what more I can give you about the show. I have to be so vague. It's kind of like when I was on Once Upon a Time. You couldn't say anything. I couldn't even, like, I can't even take a photo of my costume. I have tons of photos, by the way, tons, which I'll post when we start airing. <laughs> but until then, all you're getting is fingernails. So, uh, well, the. When I am Rita and then I come home and I look at my closet, I'm like, really this is all i got <laughs> like and i have some great things but compared to rita's costume or uh, wardrobe well compared to rita's wardrobe i was corrected when i said wardrobe girls they're like nope we're costume girls i'm like okay wait wardrobe is a piece of furniture but when i look into in my um closet all of my clothes are so boring next to <laughs> rita's i think most people's will be she's like a 1940s movie star. That's literally what she is. She's like, she is uh, very expensive looking. She drives a very fancy, fancy car. She is a very fancy lady. She is delightful in many ways and funny. Um, she is, yeah, she's a, it's like that coincidental, like, Mark Cherry, you know, character that, um, you know, when you see his women, like, like Eva Longoria and Desperate Housewives and all those girls, like, they just have this thing, like, this is one of his characters, like, is, he, yeah, she's a, she's definitely a Mark Cherry character, so she's delicious, deliciously fun, um, Okay. Oh no, am I covering the microphone? Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, get everyone. What do you want me to say? Hi, I'm MK, I'm Carol. I am Carol. <laughs> Hi Carol. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Hi Emma. Happy birthday, Julie. Um. Judy Garland? Mm, not necessarily. More like Rita Hayworth. Um, oh, shoot. Sorry, my mic. Oh, Jaylee, thanks. No, Jay, Lynn. <laughs> yes, they are truly amazing outfits. <laughs> oh, man, the microphone again. Is that, am I reading old messages? Oh, man. You know what? Shoot, sorry guys. You know me. I can never do any of this right. Seriously. All right. Oh my God, so last night, last night I got this alert on my phone about the two French bulls that were taken. And then it was this morning that I found out that whose they belong to and wh whose dogs they were and who they belong to. And my God, someone just wrote Lady Gaga and it just reminded me of that. So my heart goes out to her. It's just awful, awful, awful what they did. Awful. I have not um, caught up on the latest news, but I'm so sorry, Lady Gaga. It's just awful, yeah. Scary, especially having a pup. I'm like, 
He's like, don't ever leave. Like, she's like glued to me, Lola. Mm. Um, Feliz cumpleaños. I am Kira. Um, I know. Uh, who's in college? Oh, Autumn, good. You finally get to see your family. Am I reading anything good at the moment? I, you know, um, I'm reading, I'm reading like different things. I'm actually, I'm not reading like anything. Like I'm reading a few different books. So that's what I always do. So, um, kind of took a break for a moment and I did an audio book, which I really loved. But um, I started reading like a lot of these prayer books. <laughs> I don't know. Not that exciting. But just there's been a lot of stuff happening in the world. So it feels like a time for prayer. So I've been like reading these prayer books. But then someone recommended this other book um, from this woman. I think she was in the 20s. 1925. I believe this was published. And her name's Florence Scovel Shin. And it's like a game. It says it's just it's just like you know a book for women, book of affirmations. It's just what's sitting here because I was doing some of these um, videos, and often people ask me to like read something to them. <laughs> so I like to read these little messages because they're super positive and they're affirmations and they're helpful. Um. But I'm not reading a novel at the moment. No, I feel like I'm reading other things. And I was, I did read um, The Only Woman in the Room. And I finished that and it's about Hedy Lamarr and I loved it. And that was the last book, book I read. Um, otherwise I've been dabbling in like four different books. <laughs> um, hi to Costa Rica. Can you um, give me that number? What number? What number? Uh, <laughs> can you please? Hi, Amber Dawn, Hannah, Isla, Zoe. You met me in. Oh, you did? You met me in Six Feet Under series? Oh. Hi. Hello. Am I covering this mic? Where are we? Okay. Lana gets to sleep. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> um, ah, so, <laughs> shoot. Okay, so, <laughs> patroa, I think, means boss. It, esau a patroa, does that mean I'm like a boss? That means I'm saying it's so wrong. Hi, Danny. Hi. Um, hi, Vera. What's my favorite song? Are you serious? You know I don't have favorites. Um, I don't have favorites. It's like, I've been listening to so many different things, like Leaves, and kind of went back to that. Um, it just depends. Honestly, I've been teaching myself um, some music. Every time I say something, someone goes, could you do it for us? And I'm like, I'm not there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've just been dabbling with some music. I can't play the guitar right now. It sucks. And I, I have I gone back to the piano and the piano I've been on and off playing since I was seven. So um, we have this like, you know, relationship, old relationship. But um, yeah, so I'm teaching myself this very, like one of my favorite classical songs of all time. And I started teaching myself some weeks back um, I got home from work at like 4.30 in the morning and I was like, you know, I think I'm going to teach myself how to play this beautiful classical song I've heard my whole life. And um, and I sat down and started playing it and then it was 5 a.m. and I was like, maybe I should sleep and try this after a good night's rest. 
Um, and so I picked it up again a few weeks ago or like a couple weeks ago. And um, I love it. So I've been doing that and I've been doing a lot of other things, construction and such. Busy. Interesting because we, am I covering the mic? We, um, you saw me singing Mother, really? Um, I, so last summer, Leo, who's a good friend of mine, otherwise known as Glow Vibes, asked me to sing on his album and wanted to do like a cover song, a song that he wanted to cover. And, you know, he, he does dance music. So he's a DJ and, and he DJs at clubs and clubs are closed. So it's been one of those things where it's like, do we wait, you know, to release it? Because when are going to, when are the clubs opening up and it's such a club song. And so we've just been kind of holding on to it, waiting for the right opportunity. But, um, it looks like it's going to happen in the next like month or two. Um, so we're, we're just working around that. But now that the numbers are dropping, I mean, I don't know what, you know, around the world, COVID is, is I'm sure, decreasing in many places. I, um, I know we are here, um, but um, I, I cannot foresee a club opening up anytime soon. So it's a dance song. And, and you want to oh, it's that's what's been the hold up. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yes, I have met Sarah Paulson. Oh, thank you, my hair. People like my long hair, thank you. <laughs> oh, someone's telling somebody, shut up your ass. All right, hold up. Never Netherlands, kisses to the Netherlands. Um... Shoot, what am I doing? The audio, what am I doing? Ah, what did I just do? Okay, I'm going in the question box. <clears throat> What's it like being on a show with Jenny? Jenny's not on the show. <laughs> it's a whole new um, cast. So it's an anthology, so they do a new cast every season. Oh, yeah. And now... That was so weird. My nose went like super extra large. <laughs> I'm like a weird trip. Like, this is when I get like filter crazy. <laughs> Pinch to change size. What's that mean? Uh. I don't think that worked. Whoa. Okay, that's creepy. Doesn't even look like me anymore. Whoa. Tap anywhere to transition. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is called Lana's been up too long. <laughs> this makes me feel like I'm on vacation. It's like tropical. It's just so, this like totally changes how you look. This makes me feel like a teenager. I have like freckles. <laughs> That's cute. I like this one. My hair looks super light. I don't know. Am I still in a filter? Okay, sorry guys. Let's go back to the questions. Questions. Uh, do, 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 do. I love you and lesbian rights, please. Well, today was a big day in our country. So, I'm very happy about that. Um, yes actor books. Oh, sorry. My legs hurt. Let's go in here. 
an acting box. Um, the one, this one is good. And this is like my acting book section. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a lot happening here. Um, do, 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 do. Actors talk about acting is also really good. Old one. Um, the one that, where is that? There's like another one upstairs. There's another one upstairs, but you can start there. Turn that off. What's my favorite season of once? Probably one to three. I love the first three seasons. If my cousin ever offered you a part in her movie, would you take it? Depends on, it depends on the part. Are you going to do sound healings again? I don't know. Maybe. I'm well. Thank you for asking. Will I ever come to Israel again? Israel again? I hope so. I felt like I dreamt I was there last night. I know I was somewhere else not in this country I, I, I travel a lot in my sleep it's great I get out of this country all the time it's nice favorite comfort food well um I would say fish sticks fish sticks um if I had to write a book what genre would it be and why probably thriller because it excites me and I like to be spooked like not like in real life but like watching a movie <laughs> in real life I've been spooked enough <laughs> I would love to visit Germany after the pandemic I have a friend there that I really want to see and miss a lot Um, if I had to write it, oh, okay, I already read that. Okay, same question. You play the guitar? A little bit. I do. I've been playing since I was eight. I was playing, like, piano and guitar at a young age, and then because we were so poor, because we were, um, my family couldn't afford lessons, and um, it's a shame because I have... A really good musical ear and I'm bummed about it because I feel like had my parents invested in that for me I think I would have been doing a lot more with music um, favorite season of American Horror Story and why I mean I think I've only seen four I really love the first one because the first season of anything is usually pretty great. Um, I like the first one because I like the like haunted house vibe. Um, and then I think I liked the coven too because that was cool with all the girls, the witches. And then there was another one, I think Freak, Freak Show. Can I call you? Can I call you what? <laughs> Dasha. Hi, Dasha. I don't watch Grey's Anatomy. Um, I love this new experience on the show. I just absolutely love Rita Castillo. She's amazing. <laughs> She's a trip. Get ready. She is a piece of work. Um, oh, is Trish awake? <laughs> Can I boop your nose? <laughs> boop. Um, what do you miss most about Once? I miss, honestly, what I miss the most about Once Upon a Time is Lola's life up there. Because when we were up there, she was, she would get, what color am I? 
and like all these different colors. Hold on. Ah! No, what did I? Oh, there. When we were. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I'm a fly. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I don't know what I did. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> oh, whoa, trippy. Okay, I'm like. Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to get back to some normal thing. So when I was up in Vancouver with Lola, and it was snowing, <laughs> no, um, no I, I just miss her life up there. I miss that the life for her up there because she had a pack that she was always like, that she was always a part of every single day. And, and I miss that for her, you know, because she had, she had like the perfect life there. Oh, Molly. I know you miss your friends. I miss her friends for her. Mm. So that makes me sad. That's what I miss most about Vancouver is Lola's life. <laughs> because she just, she was such a happy dog up there. And it's harder here in LA with all the rattlesnakes and coyotes and and crazy things happening, you know. So, yeah, I feel bad for her. Um, oh wait, other questions. Let's see. There's been 71 questions. Would I marry you? I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> um, come to Russia. I would love to. I do have a Rita playlist. I do. It's very 1920s, 30s, 40s. <laughs> so it, def it definitely opened my mind to um, like new music from that time, which is awesome. There, that's better. Now there's enough Lana to go around. Okay. Uh, to do. <clears throat> yes, I can give Lola a kiss for you. Would do I? Would I ever go vegetarian? You know, I have. My when I was growing up, I was. Um, my mom had us. We were vegetarian six months out of the year. Oops. So. We were vegetarian six months out of the year, and then we would eat meat. So, like, literally one day it was, like, all veggies, blah, blah, blah. And then six months later, next meal was, like, liver and onions. I mean, it was crazy. <laughs> so I kind of feel like I got a little taste of it here and there. Um, and, and I've been raw before, too. Because when I was on Swingtown, I, I ate raw all the time. Because I was always in a bikini. So, I had to look like <laughs> I wasn't eating anything. Because I was always like, and was like barely wearing anything. It made me very self-conscious. Um, could you say hi to Sarah from South Dakota? Hi, Sarah. Um, good luck. Amanda, I think you're moving to Sweden soon. Good night, Julia. Good night. Send a kiss a, a kiss to the Fofonas. <laughs> the Fofonas group. Te amo esme beza beza? Does that mean give me a kiss? I don't know. Any Canadian favorites you miss? Aww. Yes. I have a lot of Canadian favorites that I miss. Um, I met a lot of really wonderful people up in Canada, and I do miss them. Let's see. I ish like Frank Sinatra. Not my favorite. Sorry to disappoint. But... I'm not that interested in Frank Sinatra. Uh, 
I don't know. I like other people. I like Dean Martin. Hi, Abby. Love you. Hi, Emily. Um, for all those that are asking if I would travel again, yes. <laughs> like, if I had a private, private plane and I knew that it was safe to travel and didn't have to quarantine everywhere for two weeks, I would be traveling more. But I have so many people's lives to protect being on the set and um, and then people in my circle. Um, yes, that evil regal, yes, I will absolutely keep him in my prayers. I'm sorry. Hi, Cynthia. I'd love to come go to Mexico. Um, I love the Joni Mitchell book. In fact, I just purchased two phenomenal prints from the very, very talented Norman Seif. And so now Joni Mitchell's hanging on my walls. I'm very happy about it. Yes, I do like yoga. I do it all the time. Um, when will I go live again? I don't even know. This was so impromptu. Um, the Keep It Regal new collection will have a lot of new things. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're working on it. Um, hi. Hey, Hala. Hala. You said hi. Mahal Kita. It means I love you in English. It's I love you in English. Mahal Kita is I love you in English? Then what's I love you? <laughs> oh, cute. All right, I'll go live with one person just because. 